In this video, we are going to focus on how to find the maturity value compounding more than once a year. So to find the maturity value compounding more than once a year, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to MT, where F is the maturity value or future value, P is the principal or the present value, and then instead of using R, we are going to use I raised to M, that is the nominal rate of interest or the what we called annual rate. Then we have M, that is the frequency of conversion or the number of periods. T, that is the term or time in years. So this is the formula that we're going to use to find the maturity value compounding more than once a year. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, find the maturity value and the interest if 10,000 is deposited in a bank at 2% compounded quarterly for 5 years. So to find the maturity value, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to M T. Where P or the principal, that is 10,000. And then, nominal rate, that is 2%, or 0 0.02. And then M, so since we have quarterly, there are four quarters in a year, so M will be four. And then, time will be five years. Then, let us substitute this given to the formula. So we have principal that is 10,000 times the quantity of 1 plus nominal rate that is 2% or 0 0.02 over M that is 4 raised to M that is 4 times 5. Then to simplify, we have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 4, that is 0 0.005, raised to 4 times 5, that is 20. Then to simplify, we have 10,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.005, that is 1.005, raised to 20. Then let us write 10,000. Then, we are going to raise 1.005 by 20. So, 1.005 raised to 20, that is 1.1048957.72. Then, we are going to multiply this one by 10,000. So, therefore, our future value is 11,048. 9557718667 or we can write our answer as 11048.96 so this will be our future value then to find the interest we are going to use the formula future value minus principal our future value is 11,048.96 minus 10,000. Therefore, the interest is 11,048.96 minus 10,000. That is 1,048.96 pesos. So this will be the interest. On example number two. Find the maturity value and interest if 20000 is deposited in a bank at 2% compounded monthly for 5 years. So to find the maturity value and interest, let us determine first the given. So we have principal, which is 20000 And then we have nominal rate, that is 2%, or 0 0.02. Then time that is 5 years, 
And then, conversion period or the frequency of conversion. Since we have monthly, there are 12 months in a year. So, M will be 12. And we are looking for the maturity value and interest. So, to find the future value, we are going to use the formula F equals P times 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to M T. Then, let us substitute the given. So, principal will be 20,000. Then, times the quantity of 1 plus nominal rate that is 0 0.02 over m that is 12 raised to 12 times 5 that is the number of years then to simplify let us have 20,000 times 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 12 that is 0 0.00166666 7 and then 12 times 5, that is 60. Then we're going to have 20,000 times, let us add this one, that is 1.0016666667 raised to 60. Then let us write 20,000. Then we are going to raise this number by 60. So therefore, if you are going to raise this number by 60, we are going to have 1.10578926.5. And we are going to multiply this number by 20,000. That is 22,101.57853061.6. Or we can write our answer as 22,101.58. So this will be our future value. Then, to find the interest, let us have future value minus principal. Future value will be 22,101.58 minus the principal, which is 20,000. Then to find the interest, let us subtract 22,101.58 minus 20,000. The interest is 2,101.58. So this will be our answer. On my last example, Chris borrows 50,000 and promises to pay the principal and interest rate of 12% compounded semi-annually. How much he repay after six years so in this problem we are looking for the future value and to find the future value we are going to use the formula future value equals principal times one plus i raised to m over m raised to m t but before that let us determine first the given so we have principal which is fifty thousand and then we have nominal rate that is 12% or 0 0.12. And then frequency of conversion that is semi-annually. That means we have 2. And then time will be 6 years. So in this problem, we are looking for the future value. But let us also include the interest. Now, to find the future value, we are going to use this formula. So let us substitute the value of the given to the given formula. So principal will be 50,000. Then 1 plus nominal rate, that is 12% or 0 0.12, divided by M, that is 2, raised to 2 times 6. Then let us simplify. So we have 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 2, that is 0 0.06, raised to 2 times 6, that is 12. Then, let us write 50,000 
Then we have 1 plus 0 0.06, that is 1.06 raised to 12. Then we're going to have 50,000, 1.06 raised to 12, that is 2.0121964718. Then to find the future value, let us multiply this number by 50,000. And we are going to have 100,609.8235917. Or we can simplify our answer as 100,609.82. So this will be our future value. So this is the amount that he needs to repay after six years. Let us find the interest. So to find the interest, let us have future value minus principal. So future value will be 100,609.82 minus the principal, which is 50,000. Then, let us subtract 100,609.82 minus 50,000. That is 50,609.82. So, this will be the interest. So, I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.